So today's video is mostly getting things put away and back to rights after our granddaughter went home. This is all the plastic tea set that she had in the bath the night before. So I'm just drying it off so I can put it all away along with those um, little plastic um, ducks. It's just something I do. Um, and I can sit down and watch TV with the family while I'm doing these sort of things rather than be apart all the time. Um, also, we had this book. It was about, I think, 30 or 40p from the charity shop. And it's actually a double book, um, Puss in Boots and Rubble Still Skin, if I remember rightly. These um, gingerbread people, they came from America. They're 30 years old. That was the year our eldest son was born. Really pleased how this tree um, has come out. And I've sort of shared pieces like this. And during my videos, I will give you sort of closer look at the different um, decorations I have round our home. And this is also something I got on clearance. Um, this is where I put the little plastic ducks, even though she's now five, she knows exactly where everything is. And when she came into the bathroom, I thought it was going to get away probably just with the tea set. But she said, Grandma, ducks, please. So we got them all out and she's got names for all of them. And I've also got little Christmas ones. Some of them came with gifts also. So it's just a little bit of fun. I haven't done a lot in the bathroom. I've toned it down. That reindeer, which is a deep forest green, was from Poundland. I think it was £3 last year. Um, this is the box that I keep my cards. These are the ones that are waiting to be posted. I also got some cards that... I've got on hand if need be to write. I keep my address book in here, stamps and a pen. I've also got a um, card list, but I'm not showing that for privacy reasons. Um, but this is what I do and it makes it easier because it's corralled for when I need it in the lounge. The lid, I tend to um, put in cards that are ready to go out. These little pile is all written ready just to be handed through letterbox or to certain people now this is where i keep in the box at the moment um i've left the lid off um so i've just got those cards to um you know sort of pass around um the street on one thing or another okay so i've got a little bit of haul that i want to um share with you i've got a few items from asta basically not what I call food items. These are things um, just general actually. Um, so for a stocking, I've got this Snowballs um, chocolate bar. Um, this was 110 grams and this was a pound. Um, I'm still yet to get the gingerbread um, Cadbury one. I'm sure that's what I bought last year. Um, bought some candy canes. I like to put these on gifts, decorate with them. I don't tend to eat them, nor does my family that much. Um, the welcome to them if they happen to be real and on the tree. If someone requests one, they can have one. But very often, especially if I wrap things up in parcel paper, um, and I like to put something like this with a decoration or something on. So, and they were a pound for 12. I've got this, another chocolate orange. Near enough, everybody gets one of these in their stocking. Um, this is this was actually a substitute. I wanted another popping candy one, but I haven't been able to get one yet. But this was a pound. Sometimes I like to get these gradually before Christmas in case things go up. Sometimes stores get competitive, obviously, and may bring them down about level, but there you go. I've got a few chocolate coins. These are pretty good because um, although there's um, it's a small amount, um, this is the... 75 grams, but what I like about them, especially for our granddaughter, these are the largest size, they're not the little ones, and these were 59 pence. Um, I've also got, this is a gift, this is not for myself, I'm making a little sort of basket up. So this is called Lagoon, it's this blue colour, and the two face cloths 
were 80 pence. And then to go with that, I've got the hand town and that was on offer and that was down to two pounds. So I'm really happy how that come out. And it, it is really soft actually, so that was really good. So as I say, that's um, for two pound 80. I didn't think that was too bad. For two face cloths and a hand towel. Um, this was supposed to have been for gift, but I might put it with my Tazamo. <laughs> because it's got, got the gingerbread on this was one pound 25 which i didn't think was too bad i've seen these for ages do excuse any noise that's the fan come on for the um cooker i am cooking at the moment so i just think that is so lovely maybe i should have got some i always say that but i've got to get my mugs down that probably in another video um my christmas mugs have got to come down yet I'm just glad we got the main body of the decorations um, put up, but I still have little tweaking things like bring out my um, mugs and my soft furnishings, bedding and that sort of thing. So that was 125. And then I haven't bought in a while. I bought two lots of wrapping paper. These were on offer. This one was down to 50p from a pound, and it's a stripy one, which could do for any occasion. I've used something like this before, even for our granddaughter. Um, not quite like this, but stripy paper. And then on where I've put the um, gift tag and everything and the ribbon, I've put crayons in different colours and things like that. Especially when I've done an art piece, you know, like an art bungle, bundle, just a, another gift idea out there out the blue um yeah so that and i like to use that because that can be done for any occasion also for easter if necessary for 50 pence and that was for three meters this one was originally one pound 50 i think it was down to 70 pence and i just love this this could be for christmas or anything this is from the party wear um party sort of thing online because i had it delivered um with a bit of shopping which i didn't actually um share but never mind um it's this pink with the gold um sort of circles again this can be used for any occasion and that was down to 70 pence for again three meters so as i said i tend to get wrapping paper in so another time it'd be on the list to get mail ones where I can use for any occasion whether it be a birthday or father's day or anything like that um went into b and um now these few bits um except for one of them I'm not 100% sure what the price was because I was waltzing around while hubby picked them up and paid <laughs> first of all it's the tazamo and this is the gingerbread lattes these will probably 3.59 or 3.99 something like that um especially for christmas eve and everything and there's six in there so we tend to get quite a few of those sort of things in for our guests besides ourselves the other thing is something i mentioned um and this it's a bit late for our granddaughter i must admit but i hadn't done this haul so i didn't put it up um do you remember i said i wanted a hook and um i found these i thought it's going to be metal but i found these um which is like velvet and it's not it's quite sturdy but if she was to knock into this it's not as though she's going to hurt herself this is velvet non-slip over the door hooks if you remember i only wanted one but this was two pound fifty and i can hang these on either side of that little bookcase that i store my shoes and everything in at the front door so she's got somewhere to put maybe one side she could put a a hat and um, scarf and the other side you can put a coat the other couple I can always find some way of using them even if we use them in the caravan because they're not metal they're not going to damage the doors so that's that and that was £2.50 and for the life of me I don't know how much this was this is hubby's favourite and we always have a box maybe not quite as big as this one but we did it might have been something like four pound fifty or something yeah and it's is shortbread um this is quite a big 
this is the one kilogram um, box I think it was something like £4.50 I'm not 100% sure I haven't got the receipt it's in his wallet <laughs> it's funny enough but there you are but I just wanted to share these few bits so I can actually um, put these away so we're in the main bedroom um, I haven't got my Disney um, bedding on it's turning really cold now so we might still proceed with the teddy bear sort of quilt cover um i had this little tin from carol this was um last year and in this had that gingerbread um sort of garland that i've got up in the dining room with the black and white ginnam ribbon um so i've put that there this i actually got um still got a dust everywhere <laughs> Um, I got this, um, I think it was down to something like £1.50, £2, this little stocking. Don't tend to use it, but I usually put it up somewhere. And then I've got to share this. I um, don't think I actually shared this um, when we're putting our decor up. This is a wooden garland. It was originally um, £6 down to 3 from Primark. And I still haven't decided where I'm going to put it yet but at the moment it is just down there and it's this lovely um sort of um mickey garland with the red and white baker's twine and the holly leaves so i've just left it up there it's actually growing on me just there but i probably will move it um like i said um this is how i've done um the decor on our shelves everything here except for one item that I can remember I actually got reduced so we've got the candle there um, not burnt um, it's got the red truck and um, Mickey on there I've got these little Mickey lights maybe I should have actually um, switched these on um, so I could show you them so there's the Mickey and sort of mini lights um, I've got quite a few of those little candles that I've not lit. This perfume, I think it was something like two pounds. Um, and it's quite um, a nice perfume, actually. Then I've got this one. Now, the, out of everything, I think I might have got that from Tesco, as I like to think, because they do a lot of things with initials on. Um, our photograph of our first Christmas. And um, we've got those little tea lights here and i'm sure they oops, i'll get that one in a minute um they were from primark um i didn't want to jolt you like i said these were um reduced i've got two of those i've got one here and one at the top and this i also got reduced i think i only paid something like 50p or a pound for that the merry and bright and finishing off with that big ball ball that I'm sure I only paid a pound for that instead of the five or six pounds. Um, so I just wanted to do this. I am going to do a full home tour, but it will be to music and not talking. So as I'm going along, I'm sort of um, sharing what I have got. So while our granddaughter was here, um, I left a few pieces for her to put up and around so she sat on our bed and she put these um ball balls i'm going to call them ball balls these mickey ones like i said they were two pound fifty each down to 20 pence um i think i had about six of them i haven't done anything else with them at the moment because um they are sort of all in one clump so i've got two down here i've got another one there and i think i've got here they are they're all here in one sort of clump um, we are finding bits and pieces around our home that she's put around. Um, some things I've just left, other things that I probably will um, tweak it. Um, it's mostly been a day of getting um, straight and getting tidied up and everything. Um, we did have a Christmas movie on this afternoon. That was after Christmas. Um, I think me and hubby sort of dozed off in that one. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased how this tree is coming. As I said, at some point, you know, I will change it around. So don't be surprised when I share um, different aspects of our home that there might be certain things like this and this, but it's all good fun. 
so like I said it was mostly getting straight I did some hoovering also and just generally tidying up and put our home back to rights so hopefully you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye